2nd, 2009. I'm in the Liquid Web Data Center number three here with our infrastructure director, Chris Strand. We just wanted to update you on the status of the project. So Chris, can you tell us uh, kind of where we're at right now and what the status of the project is? So we're getting pretty close to being finished now. Um, we're staying in the office space right now, and out here we'll have cubes, and there's uh, several other pieces back behind us. But basically we've got, the last time we updated, we've got all the ceiling grid in, we've got a lot of the lighting going in. Uh, as far as the data center is concerned, we've got all the tile in, we've got all the walls in. We're working, you know, the last kind of piece to finish up is finished pieces as far as the, uh, the flooring and the electrical. Obviously the electrical is a big component of this build. So um, we got almost all the pieces in and they're almost all installed, but obviously we've got a testing phase to go through and kind of commissioning to make sure everything is going to work perfectly. Okay. Is there anything special going on in this office space compared to our other data centers or just traditional office space? Well, it's pretty much traditional office space. We've done a few things to make, a few, you know, a few stand-up pieces done the lighting a little differently, um, and obviously this building is quite a bit larger than our other ones, right. so we wanted to build the building so we had a proportional amount of office space to data center space, so obviously the, the office space is quite a bit larger. Where we're standing right now, this is 20,000 square feet on the first floor, we've got 20,000 square feet on the second floor, which will be renovated at a later time if we really, really need it. Okay. Um, and in this space we've got a nice break room, we've got several conference rooms, um, we designed the conference rooms to be kind of a, a combination of training room and conference room just for staff training. Uh, because obviously with what hires a number of uh, technicians, we have a lot of uh, industry specific training that we go through. So this right here is uh, section four in the building. It's about 5,000 square feet, but it's only one of the pods. Total of the data center space is about 50,000 square feet and the office space is about 40,000 square feet. So it's quite a big building, but we're getting really close to being done. Um, as you can see, since our last update, we've got all the flooring in, we've got the ceiling in, and so on. Really what we're finishing up is the uh, electrical pieces. Uh, almost everything's in, as far as you can see, our UPS unit behind us. We've got uh, some of our racking in. Our generators are on site, transformers, primary switch. Um, really what's happening now is we're finishing up like some of the ceiling uh, tiles need to go in. Uh, the electricians need to finish up as far as pulling cabling, terminating all that. And obviously we'll be going through a commissioning stage too where we have everything tested, load banked, um, and make sure that everything you know, is going to work perfectly before we even put a single server. Behind me are two ASCO 7000 series transfer switches. They're right next to each other, but they're also redundant so that each UPS is fed from both an A and a B source for bypass purposes. But in addition to that, each unit is also a bypass isolation transfer switch, meaning that there's redundant components in each transfer switch, so that if we were to have a problem with either one, we could basically bypass the main mechanism of the transfer switch and run off uh, an alter alternative power pool. So on the north side of the building, and uh, what will eventually be out here, is 24 generators. These are our first two to power uh, the first phase of our uh, build. Um, and eventually we'll be adding additional generators to this parallel setup. But basically we've got a uh, primary switch right there, we've got two generators, we've got two transformers, and we have a junction box. And the electricians are in the process of installing these right now. They're, the uh, generators are provided by Generac, and uh, it's kind of interesting, they're a uh, parallel system. So each generator uh, looks at um, kind of each other and matches its output as far as voltage and frequency and all that stuff. So all these generators behind us will connect together and they'll all power the building together. So if one of them for some reason were to have a problem, the other generators uh, in, in the setup would take over uh, powering the building. 